day. Welcome to Kimmer's Everything. Today we're looking at a program you probably heard of, used it, or know someone that's using it. C Cleaner, very popular program, and it's free. But they do also sell a pro version, and, and they have a free trial of the pro, and like a three pack. So if you kind of look here, we'll look at the website ccleaner.com. Let's say that watching you download the pro or the trial. You want to scroll down all the way to the bottom. You see there's C Cleaner free, and that's the one we're going to look at today. Uh, it does pretty much everything you're going to want it to do. You can see the pro does some other things like the, they have some more security things, some uh, detects and removes internet trackers, keeps you from running out of space, those kind of things. So there's some scheduling things like that. But let's look at the free version. So let's download it and let's launch it and take a look at it. So we have the free version up. And you see it kind of starts off here with the health check. But we're going to go into custom clean. You can run the health check and it'll do the basic stuff and so we kind of preset for that but there's some things you might want to check and might want to uncheck i think that's where this kind of makes the big difference because uh, sometimes you don't want to delete your internet history you know your cookies and sometimes you have your credit card in there and you want to remember that but i think Seat cleaner if you certain turn a lot of these items on and if you share the computer say you got kids that sh share your computer you don't want to get your credit card get in your see what you've been surfing on the internet that kind of thing this is where setting up is going to help a lot. And you can see here there's Windows and Applications at the top here. If you look at the Windows, you can see you can turn on a whole bunch more stuff that's not checked. Accession, uh, save forms, save passwords. And by default, that's turned off. But it, except this is a shared computer, you might want to check that one. This little sh save passwords here. See, they even ask you, warning, do you want to do that? We don't want to do that. And you scroll down, you can see Edge. We got Edge, uh, Chrome, Brave, Firefox on here. So you can turn these options on and off. You can see the internet history, uh, download history, last downloaded uh, cookies. I'm gonna leave that off. Uh, and you can see save passwords. That's one of the options you probably wanna leave unchecked unless you wanna type all your passwords in because a lot of people don't remember their passwords and just rely on the computer remembering it. And of course we have Internet Explorer. Uh, we really don't use that anymore. And you got Windows Explorer here. I usually just leave all those set. But if you want to like get rid of recent documents, you can. Uh, other uh, MRUs, those kind of things, network passwords. And system, a few things you might want to turn on. See, is empty your recycle bin, all kinds of cool stuff. And that's going to help by cleaning uh, free space, which is, this is one of the things that really does really well. But you can do you know, start menu shortcuts, uh, network data usage, a lot, of, a lot of different options here. I think the uh, clipboard's turned on by default, so that's pretty good. And if you go by down to advanced, you can see, you want to clear your event logs? Sure I do. Because how often do you look at your event log? Uh, old prefetch, prefetch data, user assist history, wipe free space. This is one you probably don't want to use, especially it's going to take a long time for your hard drive. And I think if you check it, it'll say, hey, do you really want to do this? Uh, that's a normal usage probably don't want to do that if you have SS, SSD because it'll kind of wear out your SSD because then it's going to write over all the free space and a lot of other things. But if you go into applications at the top here, you can see Firefox. Uh, you can, might want to uncheck cookies. You want to remember that kind of stuff. Download history. The same with passwords and uh, Google Chrome. You, know, you might want to uncheck some of those. Or if you want to really delete everything from there, all history, all traces, check them all. I don't recommend that, but you could. And of course, we have Brave Browser. Uh, has kind of the same thing and Microsoft Store application see so it kind of goes through and finds out what application names you have uh, Google Earth on here paint.net if I want to clear those history yeah we don't want to clear that and we got Skype some multimedia stuff 7-zip Windows and I just kind of leave all these just basically uh, checked but the only ones like I said I don't check uh, especially if you use if you use Edge or Chrome you might want to save your passwords so that's definitely one you don't want to do but it's basically how I would set it up. Like I said, unless it's a shared, check them all, and you can really clear it out. Here's what I found. So then you do a run, and it's going to run through, and it's going to clean all those. And what's kind of cool about it is at the end, it's going to show you, hey, I cleared, you know, 2.8 gigabytes of space. So if you have a hard drive that's kind of getting low, you should go get a bigger hard drive. But if you're kind of getting low, run this one time, and you'll see it probably clear up a lot of space. You know, second time you run it, it's not going to do as much because you cleared most of the temp files, the junk out. And I think that's the one reason you may want to do this, especially, like I said, if you're running low on disk space, uh, this will clear up some space. You know, if there's some uh, temp files or uh, history and things like that that you want to get deleted, it'll delete it and then clear up your, your hard drive. But if you are low on hard drive space, get a bigger hard drive. 
Okay, and that's about the only thing I really use out here. You can see there's drive up there. Some of these options here, uh, I don't think are turned on until you uh, pay for it. There's a registry cleaner. I usually don't run that. Uh, you can try it if you want. I, I've tried it in the past. Didn't seem like it hurt anything. But you gotta remember, it is uh, deleting uh, entries from your registry, which is things you wanna be really careful about. Here's some tools. You can see there's uninstall, repair, rename. It does some other options. Uh, a lot of neat things in here. Probably a lot of people are never gonna use. And then the options, you can see there's not, not a ton of options in here. Uh, you really do have to pay for the, the the pro version. But all in all, a pretty nice little program. And for free, you really can't go wrong because it actually does work really well. But like I said, you really want to be careful because you don't want to delete anything. You know, if you don't remember your passwords for, you know, every website or every, every uh, thing that you log into and you wipe them out, you're going to be struggling to find them all. And that's one thing you will find if you turn it all on. So be beware of that. But otherwise, that I, I, do, I do recommend it. Um, it does a good job at what it does. Do you need to run it every day? Probably not. Maybe once a year? Sure. Uh, I think if you're doing it more than, you know, once a year, you're kind of wasting your time. Sure, it's going to find a lot of a lot of cookies and things like that. Uh, but generally, uh, you know, Edge, Chrome, they will kind of delete out the history over time. I think it's 30 days to fall down those apps. But anyway, that was C Cleaner. I hope you enjoyed the video. And you might want to give it a try, or you might not. Anyway, let me know.